Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is day 6 of my book Gumi and we're going to be talking about all the horror books I want to read before the end of the year. Let's get going. My first book is Tender Beast by Alyssa Sanbury. After her private school is rocked by a gruesome murder, a teen tries to find a real killer and clear her brother's name in and clear her brother's name. My next book is Assassin's Come to Call by T. Kingfisher. Cordelia knows her mother is unusual. The house is, doesn't have any doors between rooms and her mother doesn't allow Cordelia to have a single friend. And then she can fade her. Her mother's beautiful white horse. The only time Cordelia feels truly free is her, on her daily rides with him. But more than simple and sensuous needs sets her mother apart. Others' mothers don't force their daughters to be silent and motionless for hours, sometimes days on end. And the mothers aren't sorcerers. So this is like a dark retail of the brothers Grim Goose Girl, so I'm actually not really familiar with the uh, Ghost Girl, so this will be an interesting one. My next book is Castle of the Curse by Ramina Garba. The house is always hungry. After a mysterious attack claims the lives of her parents, all Estella has left is her determination to solve the case. Suffering the survivor's guilt so intense that she might be losing her grip on reality. She accepts an invitation to five to live overseas with an estranged aunt at the ancestral Spanish castle, La Sombra. So, that sounds fascinating. My next book is Monstrous by Jessica Lewis. Forced to spend her summer in her aunt's strange small town, a teen girl discovers dark secrets hidden in the woods. Don't go outside past dark. Come straight home after church, and above all, never ever go into Redwood. These are the rules that Latiria's aunt tell her as soon as she arrives in Sectum, Alabama for the summer. Weird, but Latiria isn't here to solve any scary small town mysteries. She's here for six weeks and six weeks only, and then she's off to college and won't look back. Still, Sectum has its bugs, mainly the cute girl who works at the local ice cream shop. While Latiria can ignore how strange her aunt, aunt's tiny town is, the residents are suspicious of her and times hostile. It's clear some She's some kind of outsider. That's proven when Latimia is dragged out of her house in the dead of the night into the forbidden redwood and presented as a human sacrifice to an ancient monster. Well, that's not nice. My next book is Everyone Who Can Forgive Me Is Dead by Jenny Hollander. What if everything you know about the worst night of your life turns out not to be true? Nine years ago, with the world's eyes on her, Charlie called Bit Fled. The press and the police called Charlie a witness to the nightmare she rents of at a light graduate. School of Christmas Eve. Even known to the public as Scarlet Christmas, though Charlie, though Charlie knows she was much more than that. My next book is Girls of Dark Divine by E.V. Woods. So this is a troop of hauntingly beautiful girls who have been cursed to perform like marionettes until they turn to dust. But one of them will go to any lake to save them from this violent dance. That sounds really cool actually. My next book is Immortal Consequences by Mani IV Mani, a multi pulp YA dark fantasy in which six teens caught between life and death at the enigmatic Black Run Academy must complete the chance for to make a once in a turning choice, cross over to the other side, or ascend and remain a black one forever, but sense the forces of playing the game too. My next book is Perfect in the Monsters by Sydney RXC. Someone has murdered the Queen Bee of Seventeen High School, all dead girl. All the dead girl's friends are suspects. Each one has a reason for wanting her dead. Ella Moore, it was the most popular girl in school and also the most hated. When she's, murdered at her, when she's murdered at her own party, there are too many suspects to count and too many people who think who she deserves it. The police prime suspect is a new girl, Dawn Foster. She was the last to hand Ella a drink on the night Ella died. Plus, all of, all of her friends and with the motive wanting want her dead, are more than willing to implicate Dawn. My next book is Portrait of a Shadow by Madame Mateau. A missing sister, a mysterious boy, and a painting that holds the truth beneath its peeling edge. Ines is missing, but missing things can always be found. May knows this as a fact, even though the police investigation has come to a standstill, even though her parents are moving on. But when she goes to clear out her older sister's studio, she finds a mess of her research and white, and white canvas that seems even older than on eight films in said sin. The closer May gets to the canvas, the more difficult it is to pull her eyes away from its mothal surface. Its heavy layers of white paint and spilling top corner she sent it to pull to see what's beneath, but she doesn't. Not yet. My next book is Night in the Lightning by Eva Jurisic. You actually might see this book vlog soon. I'm actually reading this book soon, so... Yeah, it was fun. 
One night locked in the library, what could go wrong? On the night before graduation, seven students gathered in the basement of the university's rare book library. They're not allowed in the library after closing time, but it's the perfect place for the ritual they want to perform. One borrowed from the Greeks, said to free those who take part in it from the fear of death, and what better this time to seek the wisdom of ancient gods that in our worlds than before, they were scattered in different directions to start their real lives. My next book is My Darling Dreadful Thing by Gerardo Van Veen. In a world where the dead can wake and walk among us, what is truly real? Rose Beckman has a sp spirit companion only she can see. Ruth, strange, corpse like and dead for centuries, is the only good it's the only good thing in Lou's life, which is filled with sewing backroom shots, organized by her mother, that is until wealthy young widow Agnes Noop attends one of these seances and thus moves to come with her at the calming estate she inherited upon her, the death of her husband. The manner is unsettling, but the attraction between Lou and Agnes is a parable. So how does someone end up dead? My next book is My Throat and Open Grave by Tony Barber. Lino. Fall under the spell of the Lord of the Water and cover the dark paths of a village that will go to any lengths to ensure its maiden stay good. That sounds divine, actually. This book is Secrets So Deep by Jimmy Meyer Saint. This is an atmospheric thriller about a 17 year old girl returning to an exclusive theater camp to recover the truth of what really happened there 12 years ago, the night her mother drowned. My next one is Food for Thought by Ariana Valente. Limos is the goddess of starvation. Whatever she touched with as a race coming to dust, she aids through seeking destruction, flagging fields with famine and water waters were dropped. When mortals see her, they yearn. Her opposite harvest gods Dimitri makes her life flourish wherever she goes. She supplies mortals with fruits and vegetables, piling their tables with sustenance and satisfaction. When mortals see her, they are content. Given their opposing natures, the fate of those have decreed Limos and Dimitri are never to meet, promising only ruin and more in mutual destruction should they ever unite. My next book is The Dark We Know by Rin Yu Li. Our student is the daughter Shang, swore never to return to his later. Growing up, Isa never felt at ease in the repressive form of mining town, even before she realized she was bisexual. But after the deaths of her two childhood friends, Slater went from feeling claustrophobic to suffocating. Isa took off before the town could swallow her too, even though it meant leaving behind everything she knew, including her last surviving friend, Mason. I'm assuming she will come back though. <laughs> My next book is Here Now Comes the Mist by Julie C. Dow. Lucy Westerna is beautiful, rich, loved by three men, every inch a lady, but beneath the sparkling flirtatious facade, she is fascinated by death, which has stalked her throughout her short life. For her, the dead do not slip away easily, as they do for her best friend, Mina, the Avenger. My next book is A Botanical Daughter by Noah Medlock. So this is a two Victorian gentlemen hiding their relationship away in a botanical garden who embark on a Frankenstein-style experiment with unexpected consequences. My next book is The Words All Black by Lee Mandelo. Leslie Bruin is assigned to the backwoods township of Spark Creek by the Frontier Nursing Service under its usual mandate. Let's name the flock birth babies and weather the judgment of churchy locals who look at him and see as a fair woman. Forged in the fires of the western front and reborn in the cafes or pennies, Leslie believes he can handle whatever is thrown on him, but sparkling holds and darkness beyond his nightmare. And this is in the 1920s of the Appalachian. And my last book is All the Devils by Caitlin Wilson. Hell is empty and all the demons are at Raymond's Wonder Academy. Mourning the sudden death of her sister, Annie and Mr. know she must come to terms with her life without Violet. But on the day of the funeral, Annie is shocked to discover one thing, the person in that casket is not her sister. Violet is alive. Convinced her sister's Eli boarding school is coming up the truth, Annie enrolls at Ravenswood Academy to discover what really happened and find Violet. So, those are all the books I want to get before the end of the year. It's all about being spooky and lovely and atmospheric. So I'm learning, I'm kind of intrigued by all my darling dreadful thing. I don't know, the cover looks creepy and I kind of like it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let me know what horror books you're most excited for and please like, comment, subscribe so you'll be notified every time I post and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!